Hello, happy Tuesday. Thanks for joining me for a craft night with friends. My name is Alyssa from Penguin and Fish, where we make cute embroidery kits for beginners. And I'm here in the evenings at 8.30 p.m. Central Time, and it's a time that we can relax and craft together. All right, you guys, we are hopefully going to finish up our whale uh, tonight. Uh, we just have those letters left to do. Uh, so a, a whole pile of satin stitch. We're doing it with a couple, a couple different colors, and uh, we'll see how that goes tonight. Uh, and then the next two nights, I'm here till Thursday or through Thursday. Uh, we will work on our little turtle. We'll fill in all of the rest of his back with some flowers. So that is the plan. Thanks for joining me again. Let's get going. Okay, here we go. All right, so where we left off, again, was uh, we just started the second uh, line of satin stitches here. We're filling in this W. We got the rest of it done, and we are doing it with a couple different colors just so that it has a little bit more texture. We've been doing this with a few of our uh, letters, our animals lately, and it's just turning out so cute. So we're doing it again. So hope everyone had a lovely day. We are gonna just chill here tonight. I suspect this might take the whole time just stitching these letters. There's kind of a lot of surface area on, on these fellers. But we will get there. Then our only other unfinished one is Mr. Turtle here. And uh, so we just have to, we got to stitch the letters on him yet, uh, but I want to fill out his whole entire back with leaves and flowers yet. So we got a few in here, uh, but definitely want to fill that out a little bit more. So that's, that's the plan with him. Uh, and I want to do that the next two nights once we finish this done. I suspect we might need like one more day on him, unless we do like the simplest letters. But still, even even so, I think it'll take a while to do more flowers on his back. Especially if we do like some fun, intricate flowers. I'll have to see if I can. I'll look up how to do a few more flowers maybe and we can try those out. But for the time being, we are just gonna chill and Stitch up our W. Little W's. I feel like I went in the same spot or something. I don't know. I'm all showered and <laughs> ready for bed just a little bit early, early tonight. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. If I can get to bed early. It was kind of gloomy again today. But all in all, it's been comfortable outside, like 30s. That's been a nice change from super below zero weather. Uh, Teresa, this is uh, just a cotton muslin, an unbleached cotton muslin. Um, I'm using it up for this uh, ABC quilt. It's really easy to stitch through, which is nice. Like it's not super tightly woven that it uh, becomes just like hard to pull the needle through. Oh, Sydney says, I used to do that when I was younger, embroider. I used to poke myself so much. <laughs> yeah, that happens. These needles are, um, like the current needles in my kits are a hair dull, so they um, don't super duper poke you. But it is kind of nice to have a nice sharp needle 
We're going to be looking at some new needles again here soon, I think. Getting a little low. But yes, I have definitely stabbed myself many times. Many, many times. I feel like I stab myself with like little skinny sewing needles a little bit more though. I think I just, I don't do that as often, so I'm just not, not as coordinated, I don't think, with, with those needles. Oh, Anne, I will uh, have to look at that again. Anne says there's some cute uh, like flowers on the video I messaged you. They didn't look too hard. I'll have to look at those again before tomorrow. Ooh, I wonder if I'm going to be able to make it all the way to the... Uh, no, never mind. I was thinking I'd make it to the top of this, this W line, but then I realized, no, I have about four more stitches in here. So I'm going to have to get... I'm going to have to get new floss here. And I'm, I'm kind of... My... I'm, I'm getting less and less parallel. My stitches are kind of curving up like this, so I'm going to try and correct that by just, like, going a little bit farther up, like two little segments of um, the fabric, uh, and then like go just like one on this side. So hopefully trying to even it out again. Oh, that, that kind of did the job. So the overall effect will be that it's, they're all parallel, as long as I keep kind of like doing my minute little corrections as I go. I got going up to this little mark, and I think this is going to be my last stitch with him. There we go. Looking cute. We're doing those two colors, uh, two strands of the tiger lily and one strand of the Euro peach colors. So I'm just going to weave in my end. And uh, we have that away knot here. I'm going to weave in that end as well. That was that little piece of thread that we reserved for right now so I could weave it in. That made it a little short. But now that I have stitches here, I don't need to make that little reserved piece of thread anymore. I can just weave in from the get-go. And I was kind of just thinking maybe I'll stay up tonight for a little longer and do my nails. I want to do some photography stuff, like hand stuff tomorrow. Um, you know, showing some stitches and that sort of stuff. And, and I'm going to need different nails for that. They're getting pretty scratched off. Uh, but I'm always nervous to do nails at night because I'm afraid I'm going to go to bed and then just like they're going to be destroyed in the morning. So I don't know. Maybe I'll wait till the morning. I'll have coffee, do coffee and nails <laughs> in the morning. Ugh, actually, I think we need to go grocery shopping tomorrow morning. We finished making everything that the fridge had to offer tonight. And not all, not all of it was good, I don't think. Um, all right, I'm pulling two strands, and I only have one left here, so maybe I can double that up. We'll see. Two strands of that, and then the one strand of the Euro peach color. There we go. Our little combo of threads. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find more of this uh, tiger lily, the brighter orange color, after we go through these. These are pretty long pieces, but it's the same size as this, so at most we're gonna get through this other W, or this other V part of the W, so we'll have all of the small W to go yet. Man, maybe this will take a whole nother day doing this satin stitch. I don't know. I have a lot of satin stitching in this little W. Well, regardless, we will eventually finish the um, turtle. Kind of our last unfinished one. So we can work on that more. Um, after we finish the uh, 
little trim that. After we finish the Y and Z uh, at the beginning of February. Oh, and I, I checked the schedule because I had forgotten um, uh, when, because I'm going to take the, I'm going to take the rest of January off after Thursday. So we're changing our schedule a little bit. And then I'll be coming back at the beginning of February. So I'm going to start the first full week of February. So that's February 6th. Tracy, our egg price is outrageous. I'm still going through the eggs that my uh, uh, father-in-law brought last, and mother-in-law last time they visited. They have some chickens. So they brought a whole pile of eggs, and we've been uh, working our way through those. Uh, but I think tomorrow we're going to have to go buy some eggs, so that'll be interesting. I haven't experienced the whole egg price situation yet, so... That'll be tomorrow, though, because we, we do go through a lot of eggs. We just haven't been around uh, to eat up all of the eggs we have. But they'll go quick. Close to $9 a dozen. Sheesh. Yeah, they're coming again in the next couple weeks, so I'm hoping I can... <laughs> Remind them to bring more eggs if they have them, and, and hopefully they don't, they don't forget. The chickens weren't laying for a little while because it got so cold outside, but it's been nice out, so they should be, they should be laying again. But dang, what a benefit. <laughs> what a privilege for sure to have them have chickens and, and uh, that we get to have every once in a while when we see them. Especially now. All right, I did get a little crooked on here again. Oh yeah, kind of a lot crooked. All right, I'm gonna, this will be my last one on this side. Hopefully I can kind of make it look a little straight. I'm gonna go in that same hole, last one. There, as long as that top one's straight, the rest kind of feels sort of straight. <laughs> so these other ones will, will, um, hopefully we can get straighter. Um, I'm going to start a little further down at this first kind of like uh tick mark or um what do I've been calling these these little like guide marks um and then I'm going to go up towards that teeny little point because that's a little bit easier to do than starting with the teeniest top stitch right at this point and then then going down so we're going to just start here Get this little bit, and then I'll go back uh, underneath our first stitch again. Oh, Lynn says at my grocery store, you can get a pound of bacon cheaper than a dozen eggs. I don't buy bacon, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Oh, Amy says mine were eight forty-seven a dozen. Sheesh. And are these just for, like, the, like, commercial eggs, or are these, like, for, like, nice organic you know whatever free range whatever ones are they just like the like normal ones because so that's crazy town but dang the ones that we get from john's parents Man, they are just like the most beautiful, bright orange yolks, yummy, delicious things ever. And I, they they go on my power breakfast in the in the morning. And my power breakfast is like two fried eggs, a huge like salad that's just like greens, like lettuce, various lettuces. Um, and then whatever a la carte is in the fridge. So like, um, whatever pickled things. So like pickles and olives and sauerkraut or like if I have roasted vegetables, I'll put a pile of those on. If we have a bunch of fruit, I'll put a bunch of fruit on. So it's just like a massive, massive salad. But the core is the lettuce and basically a protein, which mostly ends up being the eggs. Um, so, 
Yeah. And then John has that too, so that's like four eggs. And then we have some hard boiled ones in case we want one during the day. So we do kind of go through when we're on like our kick. Uh, we do kind of go through a lot of eggs. Oh man, so the commercial, like just normal grocery store ones are, are that. Oh, Amy says local farm stands are around uh, uh, five ninety nine a dozen and better eggs. That's a good point. I just, um, my parents live by a farmer and just discovered that um, that they have eggs. <laughs> they have chickens. And it's just so funny, right? So they're in Wisconsin and, and there's places all over, you know, small town Wisconsin like this where it's like eggs or whatever. And it's all the honor system. So <laughs> they have a fridge that they put the farmer, they, they put the eggs in and then you just bring cash or a check. And uh, uh, if you need change, uh, the money's in the freezer. <laughs> so uh, eggs are in the fridge, money's in the freezer. And just straight honor system. And that's how most of them are in in Wisconsin as far as what I could I can see. But yeah, we're um it would be a little trek to Wisconsin. I should see if there's like like our parents are more like and John's parents are more like interior Wisconsin and, and we're in the Minneapolis area. So we we can, with you know, a little bit of a drive get across the border. I should do a quick I don't even know how I'd search for that. But, like, I wonder if there's some, like, just across the border, you know, farmers that have eggs. There's, they gotta be places around here, too. I don't know. When I'm at my parents' house, they're everywhere <laughs> in the little town, but uh, outside the big city like this, I don't see or think about that as much. But yeah, then it's then it's super cheap for sure, and you know, and and free if we get it from uh, John's parents, which are great, and uh, and they're like, yeah, the best local farm stands, all that sort of stuff. There's some CSA like farm CSA things. I wonder, um, I wonder their egg situation. Actually, Jenna has a CSA. I should um uh, ask her about that. Maybe I can find. Find a place just out of the city that has eggs. We'd go on a little field trip to get some eggs, I think. Yum. <laughs> Lynn says, eggs and honey in Wisconsin. Yep, there's actually uh, right by my parents' house a guy that has bees, too. And he sells it to, like, one of the local shops. So we're like, those, that honey could, those bees could have gone to my parents' like garden and and uh got pollen and stuff there and and be in that honey so I, I just think that's just so neat we did get a pile of honey last time we were we were there uh, we should use it more i should make some tea when we're done here with some honey and um i think we might have some lemon in the fridge yet i'm trying to use up everything in the fridge which, you know, isn't that hard? <laughs> we we haven't gone gone grocery shopping since we've been back, so it and it was pretty bare before then. We've been just kind of scrounging whatever's left and it's pretty bare at this point. We have a bag of carrots, but I might I might make that into soup. I didn't roast those tonight. I roasted all our other vegetables and I don't know, some kind of seemed like, eh, this is probably a little too far gone. Um Oh, Diane says drinking tea with honey now. Nice. <laughs> Man, he just sounds really good. I love, like, hot, hot drinks like that. Um, yeah, I should remember to do that tonight. That'll, that would feel nice. Just chilling with some tea. But we do have a couple lemons in the fridge yet. Kind of hanging out. I don't know. I don't... John always gets lemons, but I don't... I don't know. We always seem to have lemons and limes around. And, um, and we haven't been drinking since I've been pregnant, so there's there's no, like... You know, we're not making margaritas and stuff. Uh, I don't know why we have all these lemons and, and limes, but maybe I'll, I'll cut up a lemon. I think we still have some chamomile tea, but I might just do like lemon and ginger. I think we have some ginger. We usually have ginger around, so I might just cut a slice of ginger, put in some lemon and some honey and some hot water. That sounds like a plan for the evening. 
Maybe I should still try and do my nails tonight, have tea and do my nails. <laughs> uh, at least step one, I could, I could take the polish off tonight. That would be something. Just trying to figure out how to maximize my tomorrow because I want to uh, shoot photos and video, like I said, but, you know, with nicer nails. And um, I'm just thinking, I'm going to go all the way up to this, this um, guidepost and come back down for this. I'm just, I'm just thinking like doing nails takes so long. So if I can do any part of the process tonight, that might be good. Definitely want the tea though. That might be good. Dang, we are. I don't think we're gonna make it through both of these W's tonight. I mean, it's looking really pretty though. Um, I'm really liking um, how it's kind of crossing with this little like, these little like slits right here. So you can see, it's almost like it's folded. Kind of kind of pretty, I think so. I like how we're doing it and the, you know, maybe we won't do any more satin stitch on any of the letters. Uh, what this will get, we, during the middle of all these, of the quilt, like, you know, our middle letters, we kind of stopped doing a lot of the satin stitch, so I, I'm happy we're kind of plopping it back in a little bit towards the end, so we still have, like, a breadth of the satin stitch letters um, going on here. Even though it is more work, like, right now, but... Yeah, well. But yeah, for the yak and the... which is the letter Y, and the zebra for Z. Maybe we skip the sand stitch letters. Although we did talk about doing turkey work letters for the Y's, which sounds a little crazy, but would be so fun. Like a furry letter Y's for the yak. Kind of still want to do that. So that, that's going to take ages to do, too. That would be so fun. It would be really kind of cute. Amy says, put lemon in water or decaf tea. Yeah, I think I think we'll do ginger, lemon, and honey. I do like, um, we do have chamomile, and I do like doing that. Um, but, I don't know, I want the honey. And to me, it's the honey and lemon together. Olin says, local honey is really good if you have allergies. Yeah, dang, I've been like sneezing the past few days like crazy, which is super annoying. I should give me some, <laughs> some Minneapolis honey or something. Maybe Wisconsin honey is close enough. But yeah, the weather's just super changed. And I feel like this year, every time the weather changes like that, like the allergies have been, just been going crazy and I don't like hardly have like in the past I feel like I haven't really had much to do with allergies um especially compared to like other people in my family but um and John uh but man the past couple of years I feel like it's getting to me a little bit more definitely sneezing less today but dang like the weekend and Yesterday, I was just sneezing. I'm gonna run out of thread before I get to the top, I think. Boo. And I gotta find more thread, too, now. I think tomorrow I was gonna I was gonna shoot a bunch of video like I said, but ugh, it's really gonna have to be a like a make and prep food day. But if I do do like food prep, it'll be the first time that our refrigerator, our new refrigerator, refrigerator will be like loaded with all of our perfect 
like pre-cut and made things all ready to go for like power meals. <laughs> so that's appealing and exciting. But that's just like a whole day's event, basically. I... And what's funny, Jenna and I were talking about this today, like, when I do that sort of prep, and she just did this sort of prep too, it's never for, like, that night's meal. <laughs> so I'm still not gonna have, like, supper made uh, with, like, doing all, all that prep. It'll just be, like, here's a glass thing of lentils, here's a glass thing of, um... Roasted vegetables, here's, you know, a bunch of cut up fruit, and, <laughs> you know, it's just gonna be assets. It's not gonna be, um, assets, like, turned into, like, elements turned into something else. Alright, I think this is gonna be my last stitch, so didn't make it to the top on, on this one. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to weave in the end. I have hardly anything left here. Looking cute from the back yet, though. Good. Doesn't really matter, but at least satisfying. All right. Boop. Okay, so here's the tricky part. So I do have some of the your peach color yet, but that's just one strand for each, and I only have one left of the orange of this like tiger lily, and that's what I've been doing the main, like, the two threads with. And I don't want to switch, like, I don't want to do two of these and one of these, because it'll change, like, the coloring of of this. Um. Let's just see. So this, there's a color in here that looks like it, but it's not. This is, um, the, uh, goldenrod color. But right here, oh, that's so short, though. That's the right color, the tiger lily color. Kind of combined the clouds into one giant cloud now. Wow, I really don't think I have more of that color. Ooh, here's some. Ooh, that's a decent sized piece too. Okay, yay! Close one. All right, let's see how long. Oh, it's pretty long. Um, I am gonna have to cut these other pieces down though to size. So let's just get one out of here. And we'll get one of the peaches. So I got two, two of the tiger lilies now. I'm gonna have to trim the long one though. And um oops, oh crap. Amy's asking. Did I ever keep up with the reading challenge? <laughs> so, if you mean by reading challenge, like getting up in the morning and having my coffee and reading my book and riding the bike at the same time and like having that be like the power morning and making power breakfast and all that, I have not since like, a, you know, my excuse is like all the holidays and stuff, but um, I've also been kind of erring on the side of getting some extra sleep. <laughs> but I have gotten on um, some of the exercising again. Um, so I am hoping to do like my get up early and and um, doing some of that reading and, and all that stuff again. I just have not felt it. I, I've just been like, you know what, I'm going to just sleep here a little bit longer or or whatever. But I do, I do, um, I am getting back, now that I'm home here again, like post-holidays, I am getting back into it. I haven't really felt like, like this is the only crafting I've been doing too, like I haven't really felt like just sitting down and knitting or anything like that. Although I did buy that, I did end up, I don't know if I said that, I did end up getting that yarn for that um, knitting project for like that, for a baby blanket. That reminds me, um, I got, um, well, it, it, it reminds me of a blanket that my grandma made for me when I was a baby. But the only thing that's the same is that it's yarn and the colors are sort of similar. But, like, the colors 
are what like made me think of it. I'll have to do a TikTok on it when when um the uh the yarn comes in. It's supposed to come in on Thursday. But the the blanket itself is almost like my washcloths that I like making. Um that that start little and go up and then go back down again. So it ends up being a square when you rotate it, but it's it's more you're stitching it like a diamond. So you do the first half one color and then the next half is another color and then you just like come you keep picking up stitches from basically the, the square that you did before so you start off a new square with a new color and and whatever but uh so that's kind of so but like the actual process is just gonna feel like exactly like me making my washcloths which are so relaxing and easy so i'm kind of excited for that um so i don't know i'm hoping that Makes me excited about crafting stuff again. Um, I think I'm gonna jump down here. I'm not gonna weave in the ends. I'm just gonna jump over here. We'll start on this left side this time, see how that goes. But yeah, so this has been my fix in the evenings here with you guys. But I haven't really felt like it. Actually, like since I've been pregnant, I feel like I just kind of like don't feel like it. Like that slight aversion <laughs> that I was talking about to like last night, like uh, that slight aversion to like, eh, I don't want to, don't feel like eating the rest of that pasta, <laughs> for example, uh, when I wouldn't have thought that way before. Um, not because I was getting sick or anything like that. It was just like a slight, you know, little bee in the back of my head of like, eh, I don't really feel like that. I've kind of felt the same way with reading and crafting, which is odd since I, I like doing both of those things and like trying to sneak in time for that. Um, but I'm trying to get back into it. Have been definitely trying to get the sleep in and the water in, so that's that's good. But now I'm, I'm definitely trying to get the uh, exercise in again too, just Get all that like stretching and uh, some weights and that sort of thing, and riding the bike. We just got a new bike seat for our stationary bike. Um, it's called a noseless um seat, and I just got a cheap one, so I don't know how this is gonna fly. But we put it on tonight, and I think we gotta adjust it a bit yet. Um, and I rode bike this evening. It was really kind of weird, but my, I think I, it's, it's too far forward. So I got to move it back. Um, but since it's too far forward and I wasn't used to riding my bike like that, my legs were just like burning when I was done. So I'm like, eh, maybe that's, maybe I do need to just move the seat around, change things up a little bit. But it's, it's noseless, which means it's just kind of like, it's a wider seat too. So it's just like for your like hip bones to sit on. There's not, it's not like, uh, going to, like, basically your <laughs> crotch is not going to fall asleep during it, during a long bike ride, because it's just, um, the weight is just placed on your, on your hip bones. It's not on any, like, soft tissue sort of, uh, thing. So, uh, uh, that's, that was the plan to give that a go, but I got, like, one of the cheapest seats for that, and I'm not sure if that gonna fly but anyway we gotta make a couple of adjustments and and i'll see how that goes but it's kind of fun tonight oh amy that's sweet amy says we are thankful you prioritize prioritize your lives uh thanks for that and always take time the time you need i appreciate that <laughs> that's what we're just trying to figure out yet again you know with the schedule change and all that just because we don't know how this is going to be going at all and um but yeah we're doing a ton of house prep stuff too uh we're doing just all of a sudden like it's like let's do a pile of construction on our house <laughs> like during this time like right before get it done right before we have um the baby right so we're trying to put in a um nursery and like a, a second bathroom uh, in the house upstairs where our bedroom is. We kind of, it's, you know, these, all these houses are the same in this area, but they're like one and a half stories. And the half bit is just basically 
an attic. So you have, um, you know, you have the sloping, two sloping sides that come to a peak, basically. Um, and then it's just kind of all open with a stairway going up the middle. So it's been an awkward sort of space, but that's how they all are around here. Uh, but we're going to close it in a little bit more. We're going to try and... So the bedroom area is going to be much smaller, which is fine. Um, but then we're going to put like a little, like an itty bitty bathroom up there, which needs plumbing and electrical and all this stuff. Uh, John put in the permits <laughs> today. I went over there to get to like a do all that. He has drawings and all that. It's kind of fun. Uh, but then there's like kind of a dormer on one side and we're going to try and oh, we have no access to it really. Uh, but it's there and it even has a window in, but we, but it's like mega attic. Like it's just like blown in insulation in there. Um, so we're going to try and cut out the wall and, and, um, put new walls up in that little dormer and have that be the nursery for now. But we'd love to like put like a little kitchenette type thing, like almost like it's like a little mini condo upstairs in this half story. Anyway, that's going to supposedly magically all happen. <laughs> So, but I'm excited because, ugh, it'd be nice to have a second bathroom. We only have the the one, like, itty-bitty bathroom downstairs, and to have one upstairs would be super-duper nice. And the bathroom we already have is, like, the tiniest thing ever. Our house is, um built in the 40s, and I think it's still, like, the 40s bathroom. It's got the old like teal tile like you, know, you see those old houses with like pink tile it's from that same era uh but ours happens to be teal or sea foam that's probably more accurate i don't know i'm gonna run out of floss again but yeah so we've been trying to figure out how to get plumbing and showers and all that But if it can be pulled off, it's going to be just so nice to have another bathroom in this house. <laughs> Especially with a, a kid and, a, you know, I don't know. When you need the bathroom, it's nice to know that there's a second one around if someone's using it. So that it's just like an anxiety <laughs> relief too, I suppose. Uh. Oh, the dark area at the bottom of my screen here. I'm just like off the off the table here. <laughs> Red dirt. Table's a little scooched up. All right, I got a couple more stitches in here. So that did not... Well, actually, we got this little bit up here and a full line. So with another piece, I should be able to, like, maybe get here. So it's going to take at least two more chunks of this. And I think I'm going to still have to find, find more. So it might not get done tonight yet either. I think we can probably make it through one more round of this floss but we're still gonna have like bloop bloop left to do so and i'd kind of like to finish that first before we move on to um to the turtle tomorrow uh so yeah we'll finish up whatever we've left on this w and then like jump over and start doing some more flowers over here so we won't get all that far on the turtle tomorrow but maybe we will who knows it'll be uh to animal spiel tomorrow. Definitely would like to get a couple more flowers in there. Oh, Amy says, I'm sure someone has asked, but I haven't heard. Are you picking out name options yet? I am more than happy to hear name options. <laughs> We do not have a name 
decided and uh if anyone hasn't heard we're having a baby in may late may theoretically and it's a girl um so we started thinking about names i do like old timey uh names that are also either like a color or or a um uh flower or plant item <laughs> or things in nature or whatever that combined with old timey names but i'm not i'm not really actually sold on that completely yet we did think of uh, some, uh, <laughs> just for funsies, you know, we're just, we're just going down rabbit holes, really. But I'm like, I wonder what would names be if um, it was like a craft-related name? <laughs> I don't know if I could actually do this. <laughs> like, I don't know if I could actually make the decision to do this. But we did think of a few that would sort of work. Um, I think, uh, oh, what were they? So Ada was one, <laughs> like Ada thread, uh, or not Ada thread, but like um, what you cross stitch in, the, the fabric that you cross stitch in is like that Ada cloth. That feels like an old timey lady name. <laughs> so that's a craft related name. I thought Lane. Uh, Lane is French for, for wool. I'm gonna weave this end in. And that's like a totally legitimate name. Uh, I had some other ones. What were they? Ada Lane. Oh, let me look around. It was difficult to come up with, um, craft-related ones, though, because, you know, what are you going to call them? Like, you know, like, I don't know, floss. You're not going to, you're not going to do that. Oh, Red Dirt says Clementine has always been a favorite. I do. That's like fits fits exactly what I'm talking about. I do like that. <laughs> I'm trying to think of these other crafty ones. Oh, Linen. <laughs> linen, I thought, could be a name. Um, <laughs> which I thought was kind of funny. Um, let's grab some more floss here. Uh, what were my other craft ones? I was, I, I got like at least four or five um, craft ones, but no, I can't remember the other other ones. But I was, I once I really started thinking about like, dang, like what would craft ones be? It was actually those were difficult to come up with those those ones I just said. But anyway. <laughs> Um, we also kind of like the idea of it just being like random words, <laughs> like a random word that sounds like it could be a name, but you know, isn't really. So that's kind of silly, but I like it. Oh yeah, Lane would be, Vicky, it's L-A-I-N-E would be the like French version of, of wool, French word for wool. Uh, it is my first baby, uh, red dirt. Adeline, that's cute. Oh, that's very close to a Ada, that's true. Adeline, Adelaide, that's cute, I do like that. <laughs> Isn't Lily her birth flower? It, it would be, that it's true, so. Uh, Lily, like Lily of the Valley, I believe is May, but I don't know. Like, <laughs> let's see. To me, that's like playing with fire a little bit, because uh, my due date is May thirtieth, <laughs> so very easily could be like a June baby, you know, and you know, could theoretically be a uh, April baby too. So, you know, not ideally, obviously, but um. We're on the, the cusp of that uh, spring versus summer, baby. So I think, um, I think June is rose. Although, 
I might not be right on that. It's, I think it's Rose. So Lily Rose is <laughs> not horrible. I actually kind of like, like, Fern. <laughs> but I don't know if that would, I don't know if I can get that one to stick. And the more, like, I, I like all, I like all of the, like, old lady plus nature <laughs> uh, names, but I don't know, none of them are, like, mega sticking yet. But they're all just pretty and fun still. Like, I think they're just sweet. I kind of think Tulip would be fun, too, even though Tulip is a, a weird one. I always have to imagine, like, the picture... The picture in my head when I'm testing them is like I'm imagining like we're rushing out the door and I have to say like, hey, so-and-so, don't forget the whatever. And, it, you know, like, hey, Tulip, don't forget the whatever. That just feels weird. <laughs> so I, I don't know. Like, that's kind of what I'm, what I'm, what just keeps popping in my head is like trying to say something to them, like, running out the door. Oh, Esther, I do like Esther a lot, actually. Uh, no, Aline. Uh, I do like that. Oh, and this fits with that. So the other <laughs> parameter, the other, like, random parameter that I have in my head, uh, besides, like, being able to, like, call him out the door and it not sounding silly, um, I want it to be, like, pretty <laughs> written in cursive. <laughs> and Esther would be very, like, pretty, like, that pretty E and, you know, little T and R. Like, it would be very fun to write and it'd be, like, uh, pretty and fun to write in, in cursive. <laughs> we had some some ideas that started with the letter H and I'm just like, eh, I don't like, I don't like the letter H as much in, in cursive. Although there is a pretty H that, like, is up and... Down. I don't know. I always feel like I get my two vertical letters in H too close together and then it looks funny. Ooh, Aster. Oh, that's cute. Aster is close to the flower, close to Esther. Okay, that's cute too. I do like that. See, you guys are getting some good ones here. Coral Bell, that's cute. Oh, Red Dirt says I did older names with my boys. Ooh, Leland, Maxwell, and Noah. Ooh, those are all fun. Especially like Leland, that's nice. Fun. Oh, <laughs> Lynn says, think about her name that will go, that will be called for her to to get up, uh, get her graduation diploma. So what I imagine there, like I imagine her talking to like a colleague at work or whatever. That's that's kind of what goes in my head there like she's introducing herself to someone at work and i'm all right with it being like interesting <laughs> like interesting but like i don't know when it gets too like saccharine sweet then i think i think we've gone down the wrong path i don't know <laughs> Those, that's that's my uh, that's where my brain's sitting at right now though, is the imagining talking, introducing yourself to a colleague, um, yelling her name as as we go out the door, and it's got to be pretty in cursive. <laughs> if all if if all those feel right, then 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 we're onto something. And, you know, again, like the ones that are just words that sound like names, I'm, I'm down for that, too. I think that's just kind of fun. That could sound like old lady names, but not, aren't necessarily. I think that's, that's fun. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. Got some time yet, theoretically.
I think that definitely made it more real, though, when we found out that it was going to be a girl, and then immediately, and my parents were here for that and stuff, too, so immediately we're, like, just, like, spitting out names, and it was just fun. I googled, like, old-timey names, <laughs> girls' names, and there's blog upon blog upon blog of, like, um, just old, like, 1800s names, and, and that sort of thing. Those are really kind of fun to read through. What was, there was one with a letter B that came up on so many of those lists, and I definitely, oh, Barrel! B E R Y L. I have not heard that in modern times, and it, it was on list upon list upon list, and <laughs> just we don't we don't like that one, but like just the amounts of times we saw that on on different blog posts was fascinating. I thought. Barrel. <laughs> Amy says you might pick a name and then change it the moment you see them. I know. That's that's what I'm thinking too. And I also, I guess another parameter is I don't I do like Claire um a lot, Adrian. Um I had a friend whose dog name dog's name was Olive, so I don't think I can go with Olive, but I do like Barrel. Oh, bear, um, Claire, I mean. Um, Amy says, Beryl is a semi-precious stone. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm going to have to look that up. Um, oh, I forgot what I was going to say about that. Uh, eh, I don't know. But fun to think about. Adrian says, Barbara, I haven't heard that name used for babies. I'm shying away from the letter B's. <laughs> Just because I'm not... Oh, I remember what I was going to say. But, uh, like, I'm not liking writing a cursive B. <laughs> uh, but I, there's also, like, there's some names that I like, like their full-length name. But then when I think of, like, oh people are going to nickname them. They're going to take, like, this part of the name to, to nickname them. Then I'm just like, eh. No, I don't like it as much. I don't, I don't want, I don't want an obvious shortened nickname to be something that I, that I don't like. Delphinium. See, I do kind of like the long ones. Delphinium is almost too pretty sounding. Kind of like more straightforward. That's not the right way of saying it, but Helen said, "Would kids tease her with barrel b a r r e l?" I do think barrel is actually b e r y l is really pretty, kind of written, <laughs> even though it has that that b. But like, I think that'd be like pretty, pretty to write. All right. Hey, this piece is going to get me partially partially up um, this last side here. I think, oh gosh, it's going to take me a long ways. I'm going to go till I'm done with this piece of thread tonight. I know it's 925 already, so, um, but I think we'll use this up pretty quick. So I'm going to have like the teeniest little bit that I'm going to have to um, go or do yet tomorrow. And I gotta find thread for that because this is this is it for this floss again. I'm gonna have to get enough for the whatever's left over here. Oh, interesting. Red Dirt says my grandma and her twin is named Essie May and Lessie June. Oh my god. Oh, and they were both born in July. Oh my god. <laughs> Essie May and Lessie June. 
they needed nicknames, I'm thinking, <laughs> growing up. That would have been tough. That's kind of cute, though. <laughs> oh, God. I see Maze kind of nice, though. I do kind of like that. We'll figure it out. Been fun to think about, though. Is going fast. I only have a few more stitches in here. I think I think I can make it at least to this next um, marker. Oh my God! Lynn says, like as a teacher, I taught sisters named April Showers and May Flowers. Who? That's a bit, a bit much. Oh, Diantha's Penelope means weaver. I do like Penelope. Oh, that's interesting. So that'd be another like crafty related one. I wish I could think of those other, I had a couple other crafty ones. I don't think they, they didn't stick as much, obviously. I can't think of them. All right, we made it past that. I can tell, like, I feel like my stitches are getting more wonky as the time goes on, which probably means, eh, good time to call it for the evening. So we'll finish up, finish up this. A little bit. I think I can get one more out of here. And we'll do the last little nubbin here tomorrow. Tomorrow, and then also work on uh, these little guys too. Ooh, Jennifer says, I feel like girls' names are harder to choose. I had two boys, Roy and Russell. Oh, those are pretty. Those are fun. Those are nice. Um, that's like that in a in a girl's version I like. Like Roy and Russell are just like they feel like straightforward, but like they're like nice sounding still, like they flow still. I I like both of those. So like girl versions of those. Alright, weaving in this end. Yeah, kind of why I like fern, because it's just like one syllable and, and done and hits the old lady and plants. But that's one of the ones that I, when I imagine like saying the name out, like the girl's running out the door and I have to remind her of something or whatever and I say fern, it, it's, I don't know, it doesn't, doesn't hold substance as much in my head. Oh, shoot. Oh. All right, well, that needle went to the floor, <laughs> so I will have to, uh, yeah, strong and simple. I, I, exactly, I like that. Um, I'm going to have to find that needle <laughs> real quick here. But anyway, I think that's what we're going to get done tonight here. So we just have that tiny, tiny little bit left here to finish up tomorrow. I do have to find more floss for that. Um, I do have some smaller pieces, and that might be just enough. I need this, and like, here we go. I got a, like a smaller piece of that, the two colors. So that might be enough. Let's just put those right there <laughs> uh, and they'll be good to go for tomorrow there. So, all right, you guys. All right, so uh, that is it for tonight. So I know uh, I said we we're gonna work on the turtle tomorrow. We'll get to that for sure yet, but yeah, let's finish up this, this whale. I don't wanna let him sit around while we still um, 
while we work on the turtle and not finish both of them. So I'd like to at least get one done. So we'll do that. Uh, awesome. So thank you guys again. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> I love the names. Keep them coming. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, I will see you tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. Uh, Central Time. Good night.